Hi, I'm Rod Saunders from Jew and Greek. In many of my videos in the past, I've stated my disagreements with Calvinism, and some people have accused me of hating Calvinists. Well, I don't hate Calvinists. In fact, there are Calvinists that I admire. I've got Wayne Grudem's book on systematic theology and James White's book on the King James Only controversy. And as I recently mentioned, I held Dr. Tim Keller in high regard. So today, I'm going to tell you what I like about Calvinists. I don't like anything about Calvinism, but there are things that I see emphasized in the Reformed world that I think are good. One is that Calvinists take theology very seriously. As a charismatic, I think that's an area where we've been sorely lacking, and we could and should do a much better job of emphasizing proper exegesis and sound doctrine. I've heard charismatics come up with some of the most ridiculous interpretations of scripture you can imagine. And sometimes you'll hear charismatics deliver a half hour message without even talking about the Bible. One guy seems to only want to talk about his cars, his houses, and his planes. So I want to say here that I appreciate the emphasis on theology coming from Reformed people, even if I feel that they often do theology at the expense of the supernatural manifestations of the Holy Spirit. Another thing I like about Calvinists is that they show reverence for God. In many charismatic churches, you feel like you're in a pep rally or a rock concert rather than a worship service. A lot of times you look around and people aren't even singing. They're just looking around at everything that's going on, and most of the time the music is so loud you couldn't hear the congregation even if they were singing. We need to get back to congregational singing, like what we saw at the Asbury Revival, without all the lights and fog machines. And we also need to stop all the clapping. Clapping isn't worship. When I was a kid, you never clapped in church. Clapping was what you did to honor people after a performance at a concert or at a sports event. It wasn't considered an act of worship. Somehow over the years, charismatics have adopted clapping as a norm for the worship experience, and we become clap happy. We need to get back to a more subdued, reverential worship environment where we acknowledge God's presence and his majesty. And another thing I like about Calvinists it's that they talk about sin and judgment. Now, maybe they emphasize them too much or too harshly with all of the talk about vipers and diapers and total depravity and all of that, but I think charismatics don't talk about them enough. I'm a holiness guy. I spent six years in an Assembly of God church back in the 70s, and back then, Pentecostal churches emphasized holiness and consecration. Hopefully, they still do. I don't know. I remember my pastor Carl Alcorn preaching against drugs, alcohol, and tobacco, along with lying, stealing, cheating, and sexual sin. He would make you squirm in your pew and put you under conviction for not walking the straight and narrow. We need more of that in the charismatic world, not in the sense that makes you feel like a worthless piece of garbage, but as a person who was made in God's image and redeemed from the powers of darkness. I hate hearing people refer to sin as a mistake. I've even heard them say, repent of your mistakes, or God forgives us of our mistakes. No, a mistake is when you forget to carry the one in a math problem, or when you miss your exit on the freeway. But sin is when you do something that you know is wrong, or when you don't do something that you know you should do. By calling it a mistake, you sugarcoat it, and you communicate to people that it's not that big a deal. But sin is a big deal. It's such a big deal that every one of us was headed to hell because of it. And Jesus came into the world and was despised, rejected, and crucified to redeem us from it. Calvinists seem to get that better than a lot of non-Calvinists. So while I certainly disagree with Calvinism, and I think that Calvinists could learn a lot from non-Calvinists and even charismatics like me, we could also learn a thing or two from them. The Bible says that as iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the countenance of his friend, Proverbs 27, 17. That sharpening comes from friction, and there's been plenty of friction between the Reformed camp and the non-Reformed camp. Let's allow that friction to mutually benefit us as we seek to further the kingdom together. Thanks for watching, and be blessed.